Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus, please? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag at the Foundation. Okay, what do we have at the Sacral Taurus? I feel like you guys are really taking charge over your stability here. Knight of Wands, look all this fire. Aries, Leo, Sag again. Okay, what do we have? These energies, we're not expecting you to be able to do this. High Priestess, Pisces energy at the Solar Plexus. This all has to do with your self-confidence, and you're able to harness this kind of power because you've actually started to really listen to your intuition. Not just say you are, but you're actually doing it. It's like an energy of like, well, what if I actually just listen to my intuition all day today from the moment I wake up until the moment I go to sleep? What would happen? It's this sort of energy. I feel like you're in a whole different timeline now, Taurus. It's very confident. It's very, very powerful. And it's very certain. You're very deliberate. You're very action-oriented. And this is all because you're harnessing this high priestess confidence, right? Right there at your solar plexus, which is all related to you being in control over your life. This is overcoming this energy of just feeling like inferior to your surroundings. This could be workplace for a lot of you. It's an energy here that's really stepped up. But you know what it is? It's the bull charging after being poked so many times, right? It's this kind of energy. You're like, okay, you want to see what I'm made of? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to listen to my intuition, right? It's this kind of energy. What do we have at the heart? The world, fixed energy, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. The world is all about learning a lesson, right? It's like an energy of completion. But because it's all the fixed signs, it's something that's very, very hard to do. Taurus is a fixed energy, so it likes to get comfortable, likes to stay where it is, right? But once it gets moving, you cannot stop it. It's like an immovable object. What do we have at the throat? So again, it's like this just brute force that you're moving forward with now. You're not allowing anybody to knock you off your throne. You're stepping into this new timeline, right? It's like you've completed this timeline of being like, let's just say a pushover, Taurus. Okay, this is what I'm feeling. It's just an energy of being walked on. You being a pushover, you really just like, I mean, I always pick this up for Taurus. It's the Cinderella energy, right? Where you're always doing for others and never, ever having anything done for you. This sort of energy. And getting used to that and thinking that's the hand you were dealt. That's just your lot in life. No, Taurus. That's an illusion. That's a trap. This is you overcoming this, completing this cycle, stepping into this new timeline, Page of Wands at the throat, Aries, Leo, Sag again. It's a fresh energy. It's like you're just in a different world now. What do we have at the third eye? Page of Swords at the third eye. And this is all your enemies now having to watch you. Watching you progress as they stay in the same old place, right? But they did it to themselves. This is their karma now. It's all a part of their karma. You know, when people try to stop you from getting somewhere, slow you down, right? stifle you this sort of energy a part of their karma that they get dealt with is watching you progress forward so if you're getting messed with like this right just know you're being positioned to actually have an amazing opportunity to move into a whole new timeline 
And it's not about, you know, you care less and less about what people's karma is. You just don't care anymore because you're so happy in your new timeline and you're so grateful. It just doesn't matter, right? You've moved on. But this is how the divine has positioned you because they need you, right? They need you to be able to be an example of somebody who stepped down on faith, right? Harnessed enough self-respect and self-confidence to step into their power. And the divine wants to use you as an example for others who haven't done this. This is what's happening here. Page of Swords at the Third Eye, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There could be up to 10 people that did this to you. They wanted you to be functioning out of a very bitter and hateful place, right? Having this blocked heart chakra. And I say that because I'm looking at the, the green pants here. Well, I guess it's kind of pea-colored, right? It's kind of gross. Pea-colored pants? Who wants that? I don't know. It's just what I'm seeing. And see the yellow on their shirt, which is drawing me to the solar plexus, which is all related to your confidence, right? So they wanted you to feel like inferior to them, be bitter and hateful. They liked that Taurus, right? They liked that version of you. They don't like this version of you because they can't be a part of this. This is you winning. See, the thing is, though, they always knew that you had the capacity to pull this off. Always. You were always a threat from day one, from the moment they laid eyes on you. For some of you, this was your parents, by the way. They saw the light inside of you. And I never understood that. You know, I always hear that when I'm listening to tarot readings, right? They saw your light and they wanted to put it out, right? And I pick that up on my readings all the time too. But when I see light in other people, I just want to see more of it. You know, what can I do to help you? This kind of energy, and this is how you are too, Taurus, right? This is just really what separates us from them, right? They're the demons in the world. They want to suppress that in people. And who do they think they're actually working for? You know, suppressing the light in individuals. It's certainly not the divine, right? What do we have at the crown? They're working for the south of heaven. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces at the crown. And Taurus, I picked this up in the, which was it? I think it was the Scorpio reading. And I can't remember what other reading. But it's an energy where you master your emotions, right? It's all about emotional strength. And when you do this, it actually triggers your blessings to come through for you. Because this is you overcoming yourself. This is self-mastery. This is what we should all be encompassing. Self-mastery. Knowing exactly how we work. Actually having ownership of the blueprints to who we are. Right? Understanding how we were built. It's kind of weird to me that people don't want to know like every aspect of themselves and understand truly how they function as a human, right? What they're made of. I personally think our lifelong quest should be just that. Trying to fully understand ourselves as human beings. Because when you do this, you're able to overcome great, great obstacles in life. You understand how you work. You understand what you can and cannot take, right? But when you do this too, you truly, truly have an understanding of how powerful you actually are. This is an energy here, Taurus, of self-mastery. What do we have at the foundation from the occult tarot, please? Let's see what demons were keeping my Taurus's root chakra blocked. King of Swords, Elegas. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is a tyrant. This is a very manipulative, abusive individual. 
This is of the no mercy kind as well. Very overbearing. Right there at your foundation. This is who you're dealing with. This is the cycle they wanted to keep you stuck in where you were inferior to them, right? Look. It's like he's on his high horse. Like, What has he even got on his face there? I don't know. It's just somebody. It's just a somebody who's very out of control, very overbearing, and I feel the only way they were able to do this is by functioning out of this tyrannical, overbearing energy. Right? It's very relentless, is what I'm feeling here. It was nonstop, day after day. It was something new. This has a stifling effect on you, right? Always distracting you. Always consumed with their negativity i know this energy very well taurus i know it well ace of cups beer right so we have ace of cups upright and then we have a reversal energy here and this is just an energy of feeling drained right it's an energy of emotional exhaustion Ment mental and physical right there at the sacral it goes along perfectly with what I'm saying right because I was saying that it's an energy always meant to stifle you right it wants to drain you sacral energy which is all related to your passion and creativity that's your optimism right but they want you to feel uh, just having like an energy of fear always hanging around you right no creativity this kind of energy and this is you really flipping it, flipping the script on them with that Knight of Wands energy. What do we have? The solar plexus. Wow. Unbelievable. High Priestess stuck with High Priestess, right? Dantelion. This is exactly what they were going after. Your intuition. This is high priestess in reverse. This is like a, this is a blocked intuition, clouded insight. It's a very superficial energy, right? Having you always distracted by matrixy kind of living, right? Not able to actually use your intuition. Splitting you, right? To where you're always questioning yourself, right? You know that feeling when you're so down and out and you're constantly questioning yourself, that's like a split. It's like a spiritual disconnect between, like this can be seen as your higher self and your, our matrix self, right? Our 3D self. They're not connected. There's a break there. There's a split there. It's like conjoined twins. Like one twin wants to go the one way and one wants to go the other way. One's evil and one's good, right? This sort of energy. having you feeling completely powerless to your circumstances. But they would use things incrementally to make it seem like it was actually you doing it to yourself. So an energy of self-sabotage, right? Which is telling me that it was people you trusted or possibly looked up to, close to, family, co-workers that have been in your life for a long time, right? See, this is how they get in there, right? By being close to you. I always say this, you know, it's the ones that are closest to us that do it, sadly. What do we have at the heart, please? So we have Hahasia, which is the Nine of Wands from the Angel Tarot, Sag Energy, Universal Medicine. And then we have Balaam, which is the Page of Wands from the Occult Tarot, False Promises. So... We also have Page of Wands twice here now. High Priestess twice, Ace of Cups twice, Page of Wands twice. So you're really where you're supposed to be right now because as you can see here, right, the energy they were, t they were attacking was your intuition, right? Was this self-mastery Ace of Cups energy? And this is you overcoming that, understanding this is what they're attacking and moving forward with that energy. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here, right? So with this page of wands in reverse energy, this is what they were trying to bring out in you. It's a very chaotic, excessive kind of energy. 
Very negative and misleading, right? It's an energy of setbacks, pessimistic energy. So this is, whole reading here is about self-mastery and you, and you completely flipping the script on your enemies. Nine of Wands, Sag energy at the heart from the Angel Tarot. And this is just an energy of boundaries. This is an energy of persisting forward, despite all the setbacks, courage. You're a true test of faith. Your resilience and guidance from the divine is what got you here. No one else. That is it. You persevered, Taurus, and you made it. Or you're on your way there. This is you taking control over your life. Despite all these setbacks they put in front of you. What do we have at the throat? The moon, cancer energy at the throat. God is my strength. Divine revelation. So this is all about you trusting your intuition moving forward. What do we have at the third eye? Justice, Libra energy at the third eye. The invocable God. Justice makes truth known in court causes innocence to prevail. And this is all this truth coming out now about who was doing this, what was taking place here. It took you stepping into this new timeline to see who your enemies truly were, who was creating all this pushback in your life. What do we have with the crown? Seven of Cups, Ashila. God, the just judge, contemplation, makes the truth known in legal proceedings. This is all these illusions coming to an end now. All the clarity around what took place here. They wanted to keep this from you, this Ace of Cups energy of self-mastery, right? This is a huge threat to them because it exposes them. It exposes them and their systems of repression and how these tr people truly function. There's a lot of these people in the world I would say that there's probably more of them than there is of us. But you made it, Taurus, or you're well on your way. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.